r slash scams Roxy Walker says Scam all legit Had an electrician at my house They checked the breaker box Flipped the switches told me I needed a service call for my dishwasher Done in less than 10 minutes Billed $334.13 Included photo Disastrous Group 3390 says Unfortunately, you paid a professional electrician to flip your breakers. Sorta like hiring an MLB pro pitcher to play catch with your kids. Joe I. Gibson says Did you not get an estimate before the work was done? Electricians aren't cheap. If they did the work, you didn't get scammed. A Pitipang says you weren't scammed, just very ripped off. But you didn't establish from the start what the callout charge covered. It should have been more than turning up at your house and then leaving. Profanest of Lemon says. Flat rate for service call, they mentioned that. Looks like there's a flat hourly rate from this company for diagnostics slash troubleshooting, and a minimum of on hour. It's high, that's for sure. The 1 hour minimum isn't that strange, though, since sometimes it really does come down to something simple, or ruling something out, and passing the problem on. Now you know to ask about pricing in more detail next time. Zuta1 says. Did you get any upfront info on pricing or estimates? They really should tell you how much house calls are before they come out. This is pricey for what they did, but not unheard of. Electricians can charge a lot. Bird Fragrance 6018 says. Do you have any written or verbal proof of their rates? They can bill you whatever, but if there's no contract between you of any sort, including. Implicit, they can't compel you to pay in any way. If no contract, you can just ask them to bill you at an average market rate and tell them that you will pay. I don't see what do they have to lose. You can negotiate even after the work is done, if there was no agreed contract. Leaving Lazulian says. If you told them what you told us, that you know there was power, and it was tripping, when the dishwasher ran, I think they should have told you they weren't going to examine the dishwasher, if that was causing the problem. If they didn't tell you that, I think you should call them up, and argue about the charge. If they said they were only going to diagnose the circuit, to make sure it was delivering power correctly, well then that's what you got, as expensive as it was. r slash scams Civil underscore facts says Opened the PDF attachment from Norton scam. I saw the Norton invoice email with a PDF attachment, so I opened it on my phone. I didn't click on the link, or called their number, because I knew it was a spam. But I'm worried, because I opened the PDF attachment on my Gmail app, and I didn't download the file. I reported it as spam and deleted it. Should I be concerned? GTK Flash says. You shouldn't have opened, but it's unlikely it had malware or your device was infected, especially since you used your phone. Scammers in these case, use a PDF attachment to bypass spam filters which checks for certain words in the email body. Peric says. While it's never recommended to open any attachments, because you are basically at risk, I think, you should be okay. I've had open similar in the past and apparently, it was just an invoice with a contact number that you need to call. But still, never ever attempt to download nor even open attachments, unless you got it from a trusted source. r slash scams cat sarah cools says so i got a check so i do freelance work on this site called twine this specific instance was no different a client sent me a message saying that they want to hire me and i agreed they asked if i would be fine messaging them through their number i've had this asked of me before and thought nothing of it the conversation seemed pretty normal until it came to payment the client said that they would send the money via digital check, this immediately threw my red flags up, I have watched enough scam baiting videos 
to know what to look for. Once I gave her my name, might I add it was a fake name, she said that she would have her accountant write the check after a few hours I finally received an ML with the check. On first glance it seemed like a legitimate check, but then I realized that it was in Comic Sans, and was signed M. Kiri which is a famous physicist that you probably heard about in science class. I'm completely at a loss of what to do. On one hand part of me thinks this is legit, based on the phone number, it is a number that is in my area, so she should live around me, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. HBOBH says. It's not legit. Just stop all communication w slash them and report them to the platform. Accomplished underscore scar 717 says. Phone numbers can be spoofed. Block and report these people. Pearson says. You gave her a fake name to put on a check? What can you do with a check payable to a fake name? r slash scams joyce c123 says new one on me errand running service here is the copy pasted message i got on facebook from a lady who posted about an errand running service job that i responded to sounds too good to be true just a wild guess but the payments to shop for others would likely be fake i'm hiring store errand runners to complete shopping trips for my dropshipping team, as a shopper, you get paid to shop for others, using your mobile device or computer, you can earn $350. Daily shopping from anywhere, and completing online delivery. Money to finance the shopping, and shipping would be provided by me so you won't, be spending any money doing this, it's an independent contractor virtual position and you will have total control of your hours. So you can choose to take on assignments however you feel like. Siras Ri says. It could be either a fake payment scheme where the money is being directly stolen. Or it could be a money mule situation where someone else's stolen funds are being linked to you. Before being sent to an unreachable endpoint. Could also be a parcel mule since it's drop shipping. But there's some laundering of fake money for sure. DPMX9 says. Likely a job scam. FASA book is full of scammers. Dorji66 says. So it's their own version of Instacart. Too scammy spending for me cause you don't know how you'll be paid, and if it's by check, it'll likely be a fake check. Zachary underscore Binks says. Sounds like a secret shop of fake job scam that has been around forever. r slash scams lucky underscore s13 says i've been scammed and need help hey guys slash girls first reddit user and i'm hoping i can get some help long story short i tried to buy wheels slash tires and lug nuts from a fellow in car group on fb was talking to the guy via fb messenger and then via text Sent the money, $1950, then came the foul play, and now the FB account is deactivated, and has got my number blocked. I have screenshots of both conversations and I have his number. I live in me and Thier in TX. Is there anyone who can help me get my money back? I sent it via Zelle, and have started a claim with Zelle, but they said it could take up to 45 days for them to make a decision. I posted a buy beware post in the said group and people were shocked as has been active and has had transactions with other people from the group no problem. Any help is appreciated, thank you. Sonifab says. His account was stolen and you're not going to be able to get your money back. You sent the money to a scammer, not to a guy in Texas. Kaimelo says. There is likely nothing you can do besides perhaps filing a lawsuit against the Zelle account holder that you sent the money to. Zell tells you that it is only intended to send money to people you know and trust. Watch out for recovery scammers. You basically invited them to message you and you are going to get messages recommending fake hackers on Instagram or recovery agents. They will take more money from you and then ghost you. The person's Facebook account may have been stolen by a scammer.
That's all for this video. Was it good? I know not for I'm a robot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. This video is the product of an automated process.